Hello everyone, Chocolate Birds here for another video review. And these are uh, Milky Bar Giant Buttons Milkshake Mix-Up. <laughs> uh, the new. Saw them in the local supermarket the other day, I thought, um, why not, have to get them. Um, basically a share bag this, I don't get them in the smaller bag, but um, yeah, just it is. Chocolate Milkshake Flavor Giant Button, along with ch Milky Bar White Chocolate Giant Buttons. So, uh, the Chocolate Milkshake Button, and the regular white one here, as you see. It's white, it's white backgrounds, it's uh, hard to tell. <laughs> there you go. There's a little diagram to tell you just what's going on, in case you didn't know. Yeah. And then it comes with a receivable sticker thing. So if anyone like me, you just eat the whole lot in her go, but um, there you are. <laughs> um, so it's, uh, yeah, I'll give you the blurb. I'll probably do some graphic on the screen to give you a better indication of the calories. But anyway, each 10 buttons um, contains 108 calories. 6 grams of fat, 3.6 of which are um, saturates. So each button is basically 10 calories roughly, 11 calories roughly. Um, uh, 0.6 grams of fat uh, and um, 0.36 of which are saturates. So, yeah, so it says enjoy them. Don't know why they've put that, but it's nice. I will enjoy it if I can. <laughs> I like it. Um, so it's a Nestle one. Um, nutritional compass. It says nutritional compass on the back, I don't know what that's about. And uh, know your servings, 10 buttons is a serving basically. Um, okay, it's a, it's a thingy bag hopefully. So you can tear there, it's got a tear symbol here. Um, but it won't tear. <laughs> uh, okay. Great stuff, it's not, it won't tear from the tear bit. So. Oh, no, there you go. It's a bit lower down, actually. There's like a tear thing there. For some reason, the tear is now is actually here. There's like a little opening inside. There so. we are. I wouldn't afford it to be that complicated, but uh, they've managed to make it so. <laughs> okay, so let's have, a, let's have a look. That's basically what we're getting. So uh, let's do into... Hopefully you'll get a one-to-one -one ratio of these, you would expect. I imagine the design to eat together, those are kind of stuck together, so I'll come to them in a minute. Some of them are a bit broken. Five. 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 Fair bit of these, which is good. Let's we'll have a, a lot of them. So the, the buttons are a bit, a bit odd. It's not quite. They're very sort of um, off brown chocolate. I guess more like a whitey, creamy one. So they're not quite just. They're not just chocolate buttons. So they've done. I think they did a mix. I think they did a chocolate mix one or something. Um, at some point. So yeah, uh, we should do a. a, a, a white chocolate and a uh, milk chocolate one and this one it's not as like I said a very creamy milk chocolate so we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 15, 20, 30, 15, 20, 30, 15, 20, 30, 15, 20, 30, 15, 20, 30, 15, 20, 30, 15, 20, 30, 15, 20, 30, um, so some of yes, you do get more of the sort of chocolate milkshake ones for some reason. 10, 15, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, or 10 more actually, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 30. 10, 15, 10, 15, 20, yeah, so you get, for some reason you get 10 more of milk chocolate ones, seems a bit proportionate, you would have thought you'd get a one to one ratio so you can stick them together like this. Um, anyway, yeah, so chocolate buttons, um, so look, so the diameter of these is two and a half centimetres. So they're quite thin. So you can see here this is basically what you're getting. So these ones, the milk the milk the milk um, milk shaped ones have got a lot of sort of powder on them. Mm. The, the milky bar ones themselves might have but because they're white you can't tell. But yeah they're a bit not very clean. All kind of could just be the milk off the milk uh, the white chocolate ones but yeah they're all a bit like that. Okay. So I'll taste one of each individually um, or a couple of each individually. Let's see, so I'll taste the milk chocolate buttons, uh, the white chocolate buttons first. Hmm. Hmm. A nice white chocolate actually. 
Um, obviously, I guess if you have, yeah, well, why do you include less of these? Because the more you have of these, they're a bit sickly after a while. But it was nice. It's a very, um, very sort of creamy white chocolate. Very nice one, actually. Um, I do quite like Nestle white chocolate. I think it's probably the nicest white chocolate in regular bars you can get. Um, mm, it's good. I think, after, I think after, if you had a few of them, it might get a bit sickly, which white chocolate tends to do for me, at least. Um, but yeah, let's try the uh, milkshake ones and see what they're like. Funny one. Um, <laughs> hmm. Tastes a bit like white chocolate to begin with. Then you go in a bit, a bit like almost like a sort of, not quite a toffee taste, but like a sort of. You can taste a bit like a mix between white and milk chocolate, basically. Um, very odd one. Hmm. I'm quite sure what I'd make of that, really. I wouldn't say it tastes like mil milkshake, um, chocolate milkshake, maybe, maybe it does as far as it tastes more like it than the white chocolate ones do, but uh, hmm. okay, well, let's give a, a mix then, so I guess this is probably what they're meant to be uh, like. Hmm. You know what, that bizarrely works quite well. Kind of the, um, the milk chocolate one tempers the... Uh, White chocolate a bit, and these are different sizes actually. A bit random the sizes. You can see this one's slight, this milk chocolate one's a lot smaller than that one, um, but sometimes the sometimes they are so not quite all uniform size. Anyway, um, hmm. I'd say the uh, the the milk chocolate, well the chocolate milkshake buttons do ease off the sort of sick the, the sickliness taste of the white chocolate a bit actually. Hmm. Oh, it's quite well when you eat them together. Hmm. I wouldn't say it tastes like milk, uh, milkshake, but it tastes quite nice. I wouldn't say you'd be bored over the taste, but it works quite well. Quite a nice mix, really. But of course, you're getting more of the chocolate milkshake ones than the white chocolate ones, so that's a bit of a shame. You have 10 more, so you can't do this all the time. Um, and we said that it's the white chocolate ones that be more sickly, so. Um, Perhaps it's, you know, perhaps they have got the ratios right as far as which one you would get more of. But you would like to see to have five less of those and five more of these, really. Uh, hmm. They work well together. Um, I wouldn't say it's an amazing taste. It doesn't taste like chocolate milkshake particularly. I mean, maybe if I had a big a mass of them and liquefied them and ate them, maybe it would, but then that would be a chocolate milkshake. <laughs> um, so... I don't really get that chocolate milkshake taste. I mean, I get something that's chocolatey and it liquefies in my mouth. So I guess you could say, yes, okay. You know, it's it's sort of, it's melted in my mouth and it's chocolate. So, but it's not really a chocolate milkshake taste as such. But um, but I don't know how they could really be because a chocolate milkshake is liquid and, you know, it's just completely different. But it's a good gimmick where you can mix them up like this. Um, you know. I think they're better together than they are separately, definitely. Hmm. But I think pretty average. Um, I mean, it's better to have these though than just regular buttons. Um, um, Mookie bar buttons or what have you. I think, they're, I think they're nice to have these combinations. So I think they're better than those. Uh, unless you're a massive fan of um, Dome and... Um, Milky Bar Buttons, in which case this is definitely for you because you're best of both of them, really. Um, but yeah, not too bad. I think three out of five. It's pretty average, I'd say. If you love this kind of thing anyway, if you love Milky Bar Buttons, then definitely get this because you'll love this. Um, and these are not just they're not just milk chocolate buttons. They're slightly more. There is definitely a mix of more white chocolate in there or cream or something in there. Um, so there's a mix of giant white chocolate buttons and giant chocolate milkshake flavour buttons. Um, yeah, hard to tell just what the difference is, what makes these ones different, but it doesn't really say very easily. Uh, mm. Oh well, well, there you go. <clears throat>
Anyway, yeah, recommend a three out of five, something a bit different. If you love milk chocolate buttons, uh, dairy, but, um, uh, milky bar giant buttons, then you definitely love these regular ones. If you're, if you're a Cadbury's buttons fan, I don't think you'll be bowled over by this. These aren't as nice as Cadbury's buttons. Um, it's not a nice Cadbury's chocolate. It's not as, they're not as good. So you won't be won over, I don't think. Um, but we'll try them. Hmm. Yeah, three out of five, I think, for me. <laughs> Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that review. Uh, follow me on Twitter, subscribe, take care, and uh, leave a comment or two, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching guys, take care. Bye for now. <laughs> see ya.